everyone, it's me, Charlene, and I'm here to talk about dun, 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 my air plants and my terrariums. Okay, there's one inside that black vase, but I'll take it out for you guys to see. So, as you can see, there's the plant. There is no dirt. I repeat, no dirt, no soil. It's just rocks and a seashell. Small rocks, big rocks, and a seashell. That's it. Nothing else. Stick that sucker right in and da -da -da -da, look at that. You have your air plant terrarium. There is another one. Do you see that plant? Yes. There is no dirt. Now this is a succulent. So there is dirt. There is soil here. See that? I had intentions and still do to put an air plant in here, but I need to buy some more. I will be sticking it on top of these rocks in here because I cannot touch soil. It will kill the air plant. Kill it, I tell you. Kill it dead. Murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. Here's my one that is the only one out of all my air plants that bloomed. There is some budding that went on. They're dying now, the flowers. But if you see that, I was so happy. Because when they sent it to me, which I got it from the airplantshop.com. I'll put it in the description below. But what they do is try and send you air plants that are blooming or bloomed. And this is the only one that I received that was set to bloom. And I'm so happy because it's so, it was very pretty when they were there. It was a nice purple color. And I don't know if you can, you can slightly see it, but it was really, really pretty. But I, I have more coming because, let's see. Uh, you see all of that there? That means there's more more buds coming so I'm happy about that um, this is my big boy I sprayed it prior I was doing a video and it messed up and I sprayed it but I can still spray it again this is my way of showing you guys that with air plants they only need water that's it nothing else air of course sorry and water because if you put these plants again in soil, they will die. There's no water, no soil needed. Now, if you see here, you can see the difference between here and here. This is the area that I sprayed. You see how nice and green it got? This is what it looked like prior, which is usually um, a sign, the color, the color that it gives off. Even though once there's very little water, the water absorbs completely into the plant I guess if that's what you would how you would term it or word it um, it will turn this color but I tend to try to remember to spray or mist these plants on a daily because it's just simple simple I try to mist these plants on a daily basis because um, it's constantly in need of moisture and once a week, which is needed, is a must. Once a week, soak these plants for 20 to 30 minutes in water. Submerge them in water. That's it. Submerge it in water, whether you put it in the tub, put it in a bag with water, a bowl, however you do it, because of the size, it would depend. This one has to go in a bag because it is a big boy. Um, these others I can put in bowls and whatnot, but anyway. Uh, submerging in water for 20-30 minutes take it out shake the water off just a little don't shake it like a Polaroid picture okay no. this is simple shake that's it that's it see that simple shake to get the excess water off I tend to let the plant sit overnight on a towel and I don't put it directly back into the uh, terrarium. I like to let the air hit it as much as possible. Even though inside the terrariums, 
the air is circulating, but hey, it circulates best when it's just in the air and not inside something that has to, the air has to get in there and then circulate. Um, yeah, so anyway, sorry, I'm gonna turn this off for a hot second. So that's what I do with these plants, just to make sure that they get the air they need as well as the water to, hyd to hydrate them again. Once a week, once a week, oh boy, once a week, I hydrate these plants. It's a must for them to survive. And again, you also spray them, mist them. There's my mister. Just mist it throughout the day. Here's another one that I created. I couldn't sit this one out because it doesn't stand on its own. But this is a another terrarium that my boyfriend had gotten that for me actually from I think it was Crate and Bell. Yeah, CB2 is the one he went to. I'm putting it in here because it won't stand on its own. I don't want my, my thing to fall and break. So he went to CB2 to get me that one. You can find these at CB2 as well, but Home Goods, $3.99, $4.99. Max is what I pay. This one I got from the dollar store. This one I got for free because um, I received it from going to a party. I happened to sit in the chair that had the bow on it. And because it had the bow, that person at each of the tables would receive the centerpiece. Because as we know, people can get a little ugly when it comes to centerpieces. They get real personal. Because it's like, I want it. I want that. And everybody at the table wants it. Then the argument is, who's going to get it? And some people get sneaky and take it and put it in their bag. Oh, it's just, it can be ugly. But anywho. So like I said, it's a simple mist, 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 mist. That's it. That's it. And you see that? See how the water is inside there? That's great because that water is, is being absorbed, or actually, it's like a humidity ball now. And that humidity is being mainly held inside of this terrarium, which the plant is going. Thank you. This is like a spa for me on a daily basis. This one, because it's half out, half in. I put some, I think that's Spanish moss, that's Spanish moss, I do not remember which one, at the bottom, and I'll miss that too, because that holds the moisture, and that goes back up into, like humidity, goes back up, in, uh, up into the air, and the plant feeds off of it, really simple. With the succulent, again, I'll spray inside there too, but, um, I usually just water that once, maybe twice, I'm sorry, once a week or once every two weeks. I plan on putting an air plant in here, sitting it on top of those rocks so that that soil that's in there does not touch my plant. So that it'll kill my poor little air plant. I purchased these again at the airplantshop.com. These cost me, how much did they cost me? I got 10. Right? Hmm. I'm a lie. I bought two of, <laughs> two of their deals that they had. It was 40% off. And one was Air Plants of Mexico. And one was Classic Air Plants Collection. But it wasn't that expensive. And I, I well, I don't know. Because I don't know the average cost of these things. I've seen them. I have never found them in the store. At least here in New York. I don't know in other states they could have them. I know when I went to Florida, we saw them hanging from the trees in different areas. So, whatever. Um, I have another one over here that I keep by other plants and try to make sure it's blocked because these plants get in direct sun is no good either. It will burn the plant and dry it out. It's just, it's not good for it. 
so I'm trying to make sure that it's blocked you see, by other plants and that no sun hits it directly. And it's doing pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with my terrarium. I'm sorry I'm going back. Ouch! I'm going to spray this one so you can see how it went. You know, it's a drop of green. It makes it a drop of green. You know, I'll spray inside again so that that water will go back into the air and the plant can be a very happy plant. My hand is going so long. So today. Oh, la la la. So it's on the la la la. Alright. So. Anywho, there it is. These are my air plants. This is only a total of six, I believe I showed. Four out of my ten. This one I have hanging. I'm going to put it back up so you guys can see. Wait a minute. Because I'm going to try to hurt myself and do something real stupid. I'm going to pay attention. Because that helps. Pay attention. So I'm taking this one, as you can see, here, and I'm going to put it back where it was. Okay, people, please. Uh, all right, there it is. It's in the window where it was before. I have the blinds kind of turned outward, so you can't really, it won't get direct sun. But you see there, it's doing well. It has grown an extra stem or something, whatever you call it, since I purchased it. So I'm happy about that. That means I'm doing something right. And hopefully I'll keep doing that. This one, as I said, it has bloomed. It wasn't bloomed when I got it, but it was bloomed. Uh, you can tell it was going to bloom. So I still did something right. To make sure that it bloomed. This one is another one that's grown some extra stems. Oh, where is that? See those ones down there? They weren't there before. So, hallelujah. I am doing right by them. They will be getting their bath today, their water bath for their little half hour so they can go thank you, thank you we appreciate you very much and then they'll go back to their home inside the terrarium and then I'll miss them daily okay that's enough I've yet long enough I do this sometimes I'm so sorry I'm long winded so I hope you liked my video I hope you create a terrarium of your own if you want to share it share it with me I'll answer any questions that I'm capable of answering. I'm not an expert. But again, ask me anything and I'll give you my answer. Whether it's, I don't know. Or, oh, okay, this is what you should do. Please subscribe and like my video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone.